U.S. urges Russia not to play dangerous games at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The United States has called on Russia to return control of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant to Ukraine and asked Russia not to play dangerous games. Matthew Miller, spokesperson for the United States Department of State, said this. The Department of State noted that they are monitoring the situation at the station and have seen the official report of the International Atomic Energy Agency which notes that the damage caused by the drone strike did not jeopardize nuclear safety. Russia is playing a very dangerous game with its military seizure of Ukraine's nuclear power plant, which is the largest in Europe. It's dangerous that they've done that, and we continue to call on Russia to withdraw its military and civilian personnel from the plant to return full control of the plant to the competent Ukrainian authorities and refrain from taking any actions that could result in a nuclear incident at the plant, Miller said. On the 7th of April, Rafael Grossi, the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, announced at least three direct strikes on the main structures of the containment vessel of one of the nuclear power plant's reactors. Grossi stressed that no one can gain any military or political benefit from attacks on nuclear facilities. It will not work. I strongly urge military decision makers to refrain from any action that violates the basic principles of protecting nuclear facilities, he wrote, without specifying which party he was addressing. The International Atomic Energy Agency announced that a drone exploded on the territory of the occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The Russians typically blamed Ukraine. Ukraine's defense intelligence said that Ukraine was not involved in any armed provocations at the occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant and that simulated Russian strikes on the territory of the plant were a constant practice of the Russians. Oh, so true.